Hello friends and welcome to this first lecture of application of derivative where I'll teach you how derivatives can be used as a rate measure. So to start with understanding the concept, let's first assume that you have a y which is a function of x. So it's pretty clear that your y will change as your x changes. Okay. For example, consider the area of a circle. We all know it's pi r square and we all know that if your radius changes then your area will obviously change well that's what you mean by saying that your area is a function of your radius but what we are interested in is to calculate by how much will the area change when my radius changes by one unit okay let's consider another example where you have a cylinder whose volume is given by pi r square h and we again know that the volume will change if your radius changes or your height changes and what we are interested in is to calculate by one unit change in radius how much will the volume change if I keep the height same okay if I expand the radius by how much will the volume change and if I increase the height and I keep the radius same by how much will the volume change is in this particular case okay to answer that so let's consider if we have y which is a function of x Okay, so if your x changes by delta x and does your y changes by delta y then how your rate is given your rate of change in y with respect to x is given by dy by dx sorry delta y by delta x and at any particular point on x this this change in y with respect to x could be dependent on x so for different values of x how your y is changing with respect to x might change and to calculate what is the rate of that change at a particular point of x we put this delta x equal to 0 sorry 10 to 0 okay so as your delta x tends to 0 your delta y by delta x is given by dy by dx that is the definition of your derivative so if you calculate the derivative of y with respect to x at a particular point at a particular value of x that gives you how y is changing with respect to x at that particular point let's consider this example where you have a spherical balloon okay and its radius is at 10 centimeter and we wish to calculate how its volume is changing at that point where your radius is 10 centimeter so the volume of the sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube we all know and we differentiate that with respect to its radius what we get is 4 pi r square and this becomes your formula to calculate how the volume will change with respect to radius at all values of r okay so you can put different values of r in this 4 pi r square and that will give you the rate of change of volume at that at that value of radius so for this question we had 10 centimeter so we'll put 10 here and we'll get 400 pi so this is your dv by dr i leave it to you to tell me what will be the unit of this whether it's going to be centimeter square whether it's going to be centimeter cube or centimeter and we'll I'll answer you that at the end of this lecture then you have another problem where you have a spherical balloon and the surface area of this balloon is changing as 20 centimeter square per second okay so the surface area is changing with time and when your radius is at 0 0.5 centimeter at that time this is the rate of change 20 centimeter square per second so this could be different for different value of radius also so that's one point okay but at this particular point when you have radius at 0 0.5 centimeter and the surface area rate change as 20 centimeter square per second how is the volume changing what is the rate of change of volume with respect to time okay so your volume is given by 4 by 3 pi r cube and we differentiate both sides with respect to t because we wish to calculate how your volume is changing with respect to time not radius so we are not differentiating both sides with respect to r we are differentiating both sides with respect to t the time okay and by doing so what we get is 4 pi r square dr by dt now we know this r is 0 0.5 centimeter but we do not know what is dr by dt at that point but what we know is that 
the surface area change rate at that point is 20 cm square per second so if your area is 4 pi r square and we differentiate it both sides with respect to time what we get is dA by dt equals 2 times 4 pi r dr by dt okay differentiating both sides with respect to time now this is equal to 20 and putting radius equal to 0 0.5 centimeter we get dr by dt which is 20 by 4 pi I substitute this value back here in dv by dt's expression this dr by dt will be 20 by 4 pi now and this radius I'll put as 0 0.5 centimeter what we will get is 5 centimeter cube per second this is the rate at which the volume is changing with respect to time 5 centimeter cube per second now the signs of rate of change so you have a positive sign of rate of change when the quantity say y which is a function of x is increasing with increase in x so if your y is dependent on x as your x increases if your y increases we say dy by dx is a positive quantity but when your y decreases when your x increases then we say dy by dx is a negative quantity so rate of change of y with respect to x you put as minus dy by dx or you put dy by dx as some minus value if you are given the value so let's consider this example where your man is approaching this particular hill which is 600 meter high from this direction okay so the point here to note is that your x is de decreasing as the man approaches hill so if you are given 6 km per hour is the speed of this man approaching the hill that means that dx by dt will be minus 6 